welcome back to the reading room. So in this set of reading graphs, these are from a 12-year-old Shih Tzu cross, and this patient presented with coughing. So obviously we took some thoracic radiographs as our next step diagnostic, and let's see what we found. So if we take a look around here in the pulmonary parenchyma, to me nothing jumps out. You know, there's no huge obvious mass or anything like that. But when we start to take a closer look, there are some opacities here that don't really fit with the normal pulmonary markings. If we zoom up in on this right caudal thorax, and then zoom up on this caudal lung here, we get the impression that there is increased opacity in this caudal thorax here. So I'll outline for you what I'm looking at, which is that there is the impression of a bit of a structure here and then again, in this area, a little collie over here. It's a bit challenging to identify. It's certainly not an obvious mass. But one of the things to note about this is that it has a bit of a soft tissue rim with central gas. And this is kind of characteristic of a cavitated pulmonary mass, which is what this is in this patient. This is a pulmonary carcinoma. So there's cavitary pulmonary mass in the right caudal lung lobe. So I'm going to zoom back out a little bit, take a, another look at the whole set of radiographs together. So right lateral projection, but we're seeing that pretty well. So what's going to happen if we look at it in a left lateral projection? Well, all of a sudden we don't see that as well. And so part of the question becomes, why is that? If we zoom up, we can still get a sense of it, right? But it's sitting a little bit more ventral in the thorax. And so this adheres to that idea that the down pathology actually rises in the image. So it's in the right caudal thorax, in the right lateral projection, it's more dorsally positioned than in the left lateral projection. And so one of the reasons I think it's not as visible here is that it's superimposing more with the diaphragm, more with the caudal vena cava, more with the region of the esophagus. And once again, this is a great example of why we need to be taking three-view thoracic radiographs. We need all of them to help us make our decision, to make our diagnosis, and especially with digital radiography, there's no reason not to have all three views. So this is it for this caudal thoracic pulmonary mass. Cavitation, this patient had a lung lobectomy, did great. So that's it for this set of radiographs. I hope they were helpful, and I'll see you next time.